election results, IEBC CEO Ezra Chiloba says there are mechanisms in place to ensure the commission is able to conduct another presidential election. He spoke exclusively to KTN News Sophia Wanuna on that and several other issues from the Bomas of Kenya here in Nairobi. It's been about two weeks now since Kenyans went to the polls on the August 8th general election and a week since the IEBC chair announced Uhuru Kenyatta as president-elect. But now a huge legal battle looms at the Supreme Court as that victory has been challenged. Today, I've returned to the Bombers of Kenya, which was hosting the National Telling Center. And as you can see behind me, this auditorium is completely deserted. But here, the Bombers of Kenya next door, IBC officials are still here and busy at work. Let's go have a look. So, it's almost two weeks after the elections, but there's staff here busy at work. What's going on? First of all, we should say that we've been here for the last uh, four or so days after the election. We had to mobilize all our team members to bring us all the original documents uh, for purposes of uh, um, archiving and also in preparation for the, court of, uh, the Supreme Court. Um, uh, case. These are guys who are doing the data entry. Mm -hmm. uh, we had people here just going through the forms, clarifying that all the forms that we require from the field have been delivered yes. uh, by the re relevant returning officers. Um, we also have, of course, lawyers who are also guiding us in terms of uh, preparing for the Supreme Court uh, case. And you can see that, uh, of course, all these are the famous Form 34s, so copies of Form 34s. So this is 34A? The 34As, yeah, this is 34As. So we have the over 40,000 34As, mm -hmm. and uh, we have to certify all the 40,000 plus. And that's what is happening here. Then we are going to bind, bind them. So that is <laughs> where the original forms are? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, it's the, the, the room is small, the room. <laughs> but uh, we can guarantee you that it's far much organized. Mm -hmm. All this, these are original forms from all over the field, 40,000 polling stations across the country. Online, we're seeing some people getting copies uh, on your website right. that were from, say, exercise books. Uh, and yeah. then later we'd see the commission post what the commission would yes. say were originals. What was that about? Yeah, I mean, uh, we followed up that issue of the exercise yeah. book and to, to find out what happened to the presiding officer. Mm -hmm. And he wrote to us a letter uh, explaining that uh, after they had done the tallying and completed everything, he wrote the results on the exercise book and went ahead in what he said he was testing. Mm -hmm. Only to realize, to realize later on, okay. you cannot test. Mm -hmm. This once you lock it, you lock it up. Yeah. But he presented the original uh, form 34. We are getting reports that in Embakasi, some ballot boxes uh, and papers have been discovered this uh, today. What can you tell us about that? No, what happened uh, yesterday, but one is that. Uh, we are requesting for those who returning officers who are not presented to us the original Form 34S mm -hmm. for purposes of this process to do so. Uh, apparently, the returning officer from Bakasi South had been hospitalized. He's in the hospital today. So he instructed the deputy uh, returning officer to go and look for those uh, documents. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when they went to the telling center, they found the documents. Uh, but in the process, of course, uh, the police had to raise concern about the access of those uh, ballot uh, boxes. And what we did is that we told the police to hold on and we requested for the other agents, um, you know, representing the two main uh, parties so in the election, to be available before any decision would yeah. be taken yeah. in as far as those forms were concerned. There were about 14 or so forms that we were expecting. Mm -hmm. So on one hand, um, it was uh, uh, an issue that was uh, supposed to be more administrative, mm -hmm. but given the manner in which the instructions were issued, mm -hmm. uh, I think there was an overla um, oversight on the 
uh, on the side of the officers in terms of what they needed to have done. They needed to have actually consulted. So Nasser has moved to court. Uh, the Supreme Court filed a petition. I imagine by now you know who will be representing IBC. Can you talk to us about that? Of course, yeah, there are lawyers out there uh, who qualify to do this job. Uh, who are the main you, lawyers? You'll see them out there. <laughs> you'll see them out there. I, I, I don't think uh, we want to talk about names, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they'll Asking show up on many? Monday. No, we, we, we have four main senior counsels. Uh, I think they're the ones who will be leading the team. Mm -hmm. I imagine as IBC you're hoping that this petition is unsuccessful and the result is upheld. But if it is successful and we must have a repeat election, is IBC ready to conduct another election? I think the question will be, will the country be ready to conduct another election? Uh, when we get there, of course, we should be able to do uh, what the law requires us uh, uh, to do. Um, because it's a, a framework that governs that. There was a question of the ballot papers, the extra papers before the general election. So many are wondering, now that the election is over, where are they? They're about over one million? The, you know, there's an accountability framework that governs reconciliation of ballot papers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have those documents uh, recorded, uh, information recorded in what we call polling, poll day diaries, and we are collecting all that information to ensure that all the ballot papers issued are accounted for. So there's still work that is going on at the constituency level, at the county level, and as you can see at the National Tallying Centre. On a very light note, finally, yes. you became the, uh, quite the attraction with the ladies, the Chilo <laughs> Bay, <laughs> and memes and all kinds of messages. Did you get to see all of this, that as you know, we're waiting for the results, there was a fascination with the CEO oh, and his I, looks <laughs> and whether he's married and how much money no, and how no, tall is he? No, 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 no. no I mean, <laughs> uh, it was a bit flattering, uh, um, but um, what I say is that uh, at least people paid attention to the election. Uh, paid attention to the election. And that's part of uh, maybe a strategy we need to employ when it comes to civic education. Uh, in the meantime... You'll be the poster boy for uh, IBC. You know, there might be others. There may, many others will come after me. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to read those things now. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not been reading them, so I'm <laughs> trying to read them slowly by slowly. I've got 5,000 messages to read. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It was great. All right. And um, in that conversation, Sophia, of course, also asked him about um, the incident that